You know, some movies make me appreciate the finer things in life, while others, they make me appreciate movies like Skyline. The Warrior's Way. Where to begin? Now in the first three minutes of this movie, things were looking good. They had the whole Ninja Gaiden intro video vibe. You know, two ninjas jousting, one falls. You know, sweet ninja shit. And after that's done, an hour goes by before anything happens after that. You think I'm joking? No, you're right, other things do happen. The biggest badass in the world plants flowers and presses sheets. That shit does not count. I might as well have been watching the Ang Lee Hulk. So I'm pretty sure the writer and director of this movie was like, I'm gonna make a movie that's like 300 and ninja assassins set in a western setting. <sighs> Oh, with a circus. I'm not lying about this. And in watching this movie, you realize it's kind of like saying, I like pizza, hamburger, eggs, and ice cream. So I'm gonna blend it all together and make the greatest meal shake ever. In reality, you end up with a concoction that kind of tastes like vomit or the warrior's way. This movie is actually a few things. It's a ninja story that you just don't give a shit about, a Western that you don't give a shit about, a love story that you don't give a shit about, a revenge movie, who doesn't love those? That you don't give a shit about, and anything else that you can think of that should have been cool that you end up not giving a shit about. With every shot in the movie having shitty green screen that's ultimately a failed attempt at being stylish like 300 meets western meets ninja bullshit. I'm mad because I wanted to like this movie, it should have been awesome. And none of the characters... You just don't give a shit. Kate Bosworth is annoying as hell. Now southern accents can be really cute or really annoying. She happens to be that second one. Was that even a southern accent? I don't know. And I thought this movie was gonna be subtitled. To my surprise, I was really pissed that it wasn't. Now all the overacting can be mine to enjoy or endure. And in the trailer to this movie, we were promised that the main bad guys were gonna be ninjas. Nope. They're these Yosemite Sam types. You know the <laughs> types? Yeah, them. The ninjas are in it briefly. Those bait and switch bastards. So in my humble opinion, The Warriors Way is up there with Legion and Skyline as the worst movies of the year. And it definitely gets the dog shit award. <laughs> But if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, then click right here to see more.